Hi and welcome dear coders. Today in this video we will learn about how we can download and set up the VS Code IDE and WinZW compiler. So let's start. So dear friends before moving ahead we will see what is the VS Code and WinZW compiler. Basically Visual Studio Code is free open source text editor created for developers writing a code. And about WinZW compiler it is simply the compiler that is used to compile and execute the code. It is the software that supports to only Windows operating system. Let's see how we can download the VS Code. Go to the Google web page and type as VS Code download. Click on the first link which you have seen. Here are the three options for Windows, Linux and for Mac users. According to your operating system you can download which you want. Here I have windows operating system. So I click on this windows tab and here you can see my VS code is downloading. While downloading this VS code, let's we start to download MinZW compiler. For this, type in the search box as MinZW download. You can see the first link. Click on this link and you can and download the MinZW compiler. Once it downloads, open it into the folder you can see minzw setup click on this and install the minzw then simply click on continue and here our minzw is downloading according to your strength of wi-fi it will take a time so connect your machine to strong wi-fi then click on continue you can see such kind of window tick all these seven check boxes and mark them as for installation at top left corner click on installation and then apply the changes and then apply depending on your Wi-Fi connection it will take a little bit of a time once it completes click on the close and your MinGW is successfully downloaded awesome for using VS code and MinGW we have to set up the path into environment variable for this go to C drive click on the MinGW and click on the bin and copy the path which you can see here for copy the path simply you can use ctrl plus c or right click and copy the path then go to start and type as environment variable click on these and go to the advanced tab and click on the environment variable and then double click on the path you can see such type of window then tick on new and paste the path which you copied before. For this, press Ctrl V and click on OK. And also do the same steps for the system variable. Double click on the path, click on new tab and paste the path. And your path is successfully added. Now our VS Code setup is incomplete, so let it complete. Open the VS Code setup which you downloaded before. For this, go to download and click on this. Here accept the agreement and then next. Tick the check boxes and then click on the next. And then install. Now you can see our VS code is downloading. Then finish it. Now see is it proper work or not. For this create a new folder and open it into VS code. You can see four options at the top left corner. Click on the first and create your first coding file as a .c extension. I am creating here as a hersh.c and write a hello program for checking whether it is work or not. For running the program, press Ctrl plus Shift plus backtick and then type as gcc hersh.c. Here you type your file name instead of hersh and then press A tab. Our program runs successfully. So friends, like, share and subscribe the video not forget to hit bell icon so friends we will meet in the next video bye bye